A local man who has been on death row for more than four decades is claiming a victory tonight in his fight for freedom. West to investigative reporter Greg Fox explains a judge has given the green light to new DNA testing in this decades old case. That Mr. Ziegler has been given the right to test all of it. The hearing lasted less than an hour, but it was the culmination of a legal battle lasting 12 years. A judge granted a joint motion to allow modern DNA testing of evidence in the four murders for which Tommy Ziegler of Orange County was convicted and sent to Florida's death row. This is really a victory for Tommy's case and for justice, and so we're, we're very excited to be moving forward. In what many consider one of the most notorious crimes in state history, the Ziegler Furniture Store became a bloodbath on Christmas Eve, 1975. Ziegler was convicted of fatally shooting his wife Eunice and mother-in-law Virginia Edwards and beating to death his father-in-law Perry Edwards and customer Charlie Mays. Ziegler had been shot too, but detectives called that self-inflicted by the killer. Did you commit these murders? I did not. And I've done everything in the world that I can possibly do to prove that. Ziegler talked to me behind bars in 2015, just before another attempt at DNA testing old evidence was rejected by a court. I did not kill my wife. Or your in-laws. I did not kill Mr. and Ms. Edwards. Or Mr. Mays. I did not kill Mr. Mays. You're innocent. Yes. New Circuit 9 State Attorney Monique Worrell became interested in the case and agreed to the testing, something opposed by Attorney General Ashley Moody. But earlier this year, the state Supreme Court rejected Moody's attempt to stop the testing in a similar murder case, clearing the way for a reexamination of key evidence that could exonerate Ziegler after 46 years on death row. Based on modern uh, uh, DNA testing, we will get uh, a significant amount of evidence about what happened that night, uh, the night of the crime, and we believe that the evidence will show that our client uh, did not commit those crimes. The Death Penalty Information Center calls this a critical ruling for justice. Uh, we know that this is a life or death matter. This is the most serious punishment possible. Uh, so it's in the interest of the, the court system um, and the to, to ensure that we actually have a legitimate court system to ensure that we're getting things right here. The judge rejected a motion by the Office of Attorney General Ashley Moody for a 30 day stay on this ruling while it considered an appeal. Also, this testing could take somewhere between three and six months in Orange County. Greg Fox, Washington News. Today, the judge did grant a request by the Office of Attorney General Moody to have FDLE agents present when Ziegler, the Ziegler murder scene evidence is retrieved from the Orange County Sheriff's Office Evidence Vault.